The U.S. military has a huge footprint across Southeast Asia and the Pacific, particularly in Japan and South Korea, with North Korea threatening a missile strike on the U.S. territory of Guam. Here is an overview of U.S. forces in the region. Japan There are more U.S. military personnel serving in Japan than in any other country. According to Department of Defense data, 39,345 troops are stationed across 112 bases, a hangover from the Second World War when American forces occupied Japan. In April, the U.S. Air Force lined up dozens of helicopters, tactical fighter jets and surveillance planes on the runway at Kadena Air Base in Japan as a show of force aimed at North Korea. On Tuesday, Japan conducted joint air drills with two U.S. B-1B Lancers, capable of carrying nuclear bombs, near the Korean Peninsula. U.S. troops in Japan are mostly based on the subtropical island of Okinawa, roughly 400 miles 640 kilometers, south of the rest of Japan. The 7th Fleet headquartered in Japan, the 7th Fleet is the largest of the U.S. Navy's deployed sea forces, with roughly 50 to 70 ships and submarines, 140 aircraft and approximately 20,000 sailors across the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. The USS Ronald Reagan, a nuclear-powered aircraft supercarrier, is permanently deployed at Yokosuka, Japan, as the fleet's flagship carrier. The fleet also includes up to 14 destroyers and cruisers at any given time, some armed with ballistic missile interceptors, long-range Tomahawk land attack missiles and anti-aircraft missiles. Up to 12 nuclear-powered submarines are also available. South Korea after Germany, with 34,805 troops, South Korea is the third largest host of U.S. military forces, with 23,468 people on duty at 83 sites. More than 300 tanks, including the powerful M1, Abrams, and armored vehicles are stationed there, set up as a bulwark against North Korea in 1957. After a three-year war, the United States Force Korea, USFK, says its mission is to deter aggression and, if necessary, defend the Republic of Korea. In April the U.S. installed a terminal, High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, in the country with the purpose of using interceptor missiles to destroy incoming missiles in mid-flight.